Welcome all. Following my uh, recent rant about apps, uh, I've got another thing that I need to get off my chest and uh, something that's been gnawing at me for quite a while, well over a year now, I'd, uh, I'd guess, and uh, it's just a few recent uh, YouTube videos I think were enough to spur me to uh, make comment on this particular subject and I really do feel that it needs to be said. Now, as the title of this video says, that's not cinematic. I want to just discuss uh, what my views are on what is cinematic uh, and what is not cinematic. First off, um, I see a lot of titles on uh, YouTube, and I don't know why I keep getting them at all, but probably because I'm searching for stuff on uh, video and all that. Um, and the titles in so many of them nowadays uh, have cinematic put in there. Uh, I saw one recent one, which was a cinematic vlog, which I just thought was gobsmacking. Vlogs just are not cinematic. Uh, having someone walking around with a camera facing them uh, hardly uh, defines a cinematic video or film or whatever you want to call it. Another one that I saw was uh, video, cinematic video test. Now, it's a test, <laughs> it's not cinematic. And why does all this arise? It's, I think it's mainly because people have this perception uh, that cinematic means something that uh, you've got, and often the examples are two or three minute videos taken in slow motion, usually of some girl working, walking in a field or a forest or whatever, and then some colourful LUT applied, and that all of a sudden transforms into a uh, cinematic uh, video. Uh, my view is that that is anything but cinematic. Um, the cinematic, uh, as probably most people would be aware, comes from the old uh, term of cinemas, where people used to go, and probably still do, but not as much, um, to watch stories being told. And that's what cinematic is really about. It's a storytelling experience. It's got to have some sort of a beginning, uh, a middle, and an end very much like a book or a novel. Uh, it tells a story that you can get immersed in and uh, sort of try to feel what you're part of what you're reading. Uh, who would buy a book that uh, has nothing but uh, disparate uh, paragraphs in there describing things that aren't related in any way or vaguely related only? So cinematic is something that uh, is, is an entertainment thing with a story. Uh, that involves people. People can get out of their mundane lives and whatever else and uh, become immersed, as I said, in a, uh, an alternate lifestyle or a story. Um, colour means nothing. When you have a look at the old uh, movies, westerns, worries, uh, musicals and so forth, and dramas, they were all shot in black and white. Um, there was no slow motion involved, um, no colour at the time, and yet they are still considered classic cinematic uh, movies. And that is because it had a story behind it. And when Technicolor came in, um, they started using vivid colours, lighting and all that sort of stuff, which is almost completely opposite to what's being done nowadays with dark moody uh, uh, movies, uh, with, with virtual, uh, barely discernible uh, stuff in the, uh, in, the, in the scenes themselves because they're just so murky. But that's a flavour thing. Um, but that's what sort of cinematic is all about. It's uh, really storytelling and it doesn't start with choosing cameras or anything else. If you've ever had a look at a video of what a producer does, his job is to pick a story and then try to sell it to uh, investors who will put money into making it into a movie. And that requires, before you even think of taking a camera uh, or doing editing or anything else, is looking at locations, the lighting, uh, the seasons that you might be doing uh, the, uh, the, the movie around, what sort of perspectives you're going to be uh, uh, involved in the, uh, the actual uh, scenes themselves, and you start looking at actors, them, and it might not be just human actors, it could be animals, it just could be inanimate objects, uh, uh, something happening uh, within a geographic area or something like that to tell a story of what's going on. And then they really finally pick the camera, and then after that comes the uh, editing and so forth, the cutting rooms and all that, to form that into a full story. Uh, and that's what cinematic is about. So people who just go about taking disparate shots of this and that and then blending it together into a, into a short movie or short uh, uh, video clip, um, you're not making anything cinematic. So stop calling them cinematic. They might be nice, they might look absolutely beautiful, um, they might be well edited, um, coloured and all that, but it's not cinematic. It's just a nice video. The other thing that uh, sort of gets me a, bit, a little bit is that every time a new camera comes out and people start doing uh, examples of it and tests and so forth, uh, they start producing video clips and a very, very frequent comment comes in is that uh, while that camera certainly does produce great skin tones, 
uh, very accurate skin tones. But what's accurate? When you have a look at what's being uh, filmed, the really good ones, the actors, actresses and whatever, all have makeup on, there's lighting put into it and so forth. Um, you're not actually seeing the actual, actual skin tones that you would see if you were there. And really the only way you could probably say what is accurate is go outside without makeup in uh, normal sunlight, whether it's filtered or uh, uh, direct, and you might get a uh, feel for what their skin tone actually looks like. But even that is tempered by individual uh, uh, eyesight, the colours that you see or don't see, uh, and so on. And where it's being uh, shot. If it's been in a forest, there might be a lot of greenery, and that's going to affect the actual uh, skin tone look. And that applies the same thing in uh, indoor uh, situations when they're using uh, uh, lighting and so forth. But then there's also the post-processing aspect. When people start post-processing, they're changing the uh, actual uh, skin tone uh, appearance quite dramatically, even to the extent where you get that usual crazy orange and teal. That's not accurate. So that's another thing that uh, gets me is that when I see comments saying, wow, they're accurate skin tones, you don't really know. Even the uh, medium that you're watching it from, like YouTube, can butcher uh, the actual colours and every single uh, monitor will come up different. Um, no matter who's looking at uh, their videos from home or wherever. So it's pretty crazy just to say that some camera or other produces accurate skin tones versus some other camera. Uh, I don't believe that's the case. So there's a couple of things that uh, I just wanted to get off my chest and uh, think of it what you will. But uh, especially the cinematic side of things I think is being overblown uh, far too much and people start, should start thinking about what cinematic actually means. And if they start doing that, start looking at uh, storytelling, then their videos I think are going to start looking a lot, lot better than uh, what they are now just as a, a visual exercise rather than a storytelling exercise. And I'm not making any cinematic uh, uh, videos at the moment. All of mine are just more or less tests. They might look nice to some, might not look nice to others. It doesn't matter, but I'm not going to call them cinematic because they're not cinematic by a long shot. So that's all I wanted to say, and I uh, hope to see you again, so I'll just say cheers.